Welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on another Voltron History, we're going to be taking a look at the frequently requested history and origins of Keith. So stay tuned. In the original Beast King Go Line, Akira Kogane was a short-tempered young man and leader of the Go Line team, piloting the Black Lion and wearing a red uniform. A strategic thinker, he was usually seen reading or fighting with team members who disagree with him. He is the frequent enemy of Sincline due to the fact that Fala is attracted to him. Kogane is a Japanese word for gold. In Voltron Defender of the Universe, Keith was the leader of the scout team sent to planet Eris by Galaxy Alliance. His team's ship was shot down and they were captured by the forces of Planet Doom. After escaping imprisonment as slaves of King Zarkon, the five space explorers would make their way back to Eris, where they would meet Princess Allura and Koran in the Castle of Lions. The team was organized into the Voltron Force, with Keith leading the team and temporarily piloting the Green Lion until the key to the Black Lion could be found. Keith developed a personal rivalry with Lotor, whom he first met face to face in a duel a few miles from the castle. In Voltron the Third Dimension, which is set five years after the original Voltron series, Prince Lotor was defeated by the Voltron Force. In the final battle, an explosion destroyed Lotor's battleship. Lotor's body was heavily damaged in the wreckage. Alliance doctors healed and repaired Lotor using bionic parts. When he was recovered, the Galaxy Alliance's highest court found Lotor guilty of war crimes. He was sentenced to life in maximum security solitary confinement. The judges said they would reduce his sentence if Lotor would reveal the location of his secret fortress, which he had hidden in his final battle with Voltron. In one episode of Third Dimension, Keith pulls a gun on Lance in a fight between the two Lion Force pilots over authority in the episode A Rift in the Force. In Nicktoon's Voltron Force, Keith had become a fugitive wanted by the Galaxy Alliance after Voltron's decommissioning. Keith eventually manages to infiltrate Sky Marshal Wade's secret base and searches for the Black Lion. He finds and frees Black Lion, contacting Pidge and trying to escape Wade's security. As Pidge and Hunk go to rescue Keith from drifting into space due to the fact that Wade's experiments on the Black Lion had left it almost completely drained of power. Pidge and Hunk manage to save Keith and Black Lion and send them to Eris, accidentally decapitating the Roe Beast that was attacking the rest of the Voltron Force and destroying it. After investigating a centuries-old erosion distress signal, Keith learns that his great-grandfather commanded the ship and was a knight of Eris, proving that his family is originally from Eris, not Earth. After the fight with Lotolider, the merged form of the Lighter and Lotor, Keith stepped down and promoted Daniel to be the Black Lion's pilot. After Daniel showed he could lead the Voltron Force and Keith became King of Eris. During Daniel's first mission, he proved he wasn't ready to lead the Voltron Force. Keith came out of retirement and took back the Black Lion. In Legendary Defender, Keith is hot-headed and temperamental, which makes it hard for many to work with him. In this new series, he was actually more of a loner as opposed to the fierce leader we know him as in the other series. Even though a loner by nature, he's incredibly loyal to his team, especially to Shiro, who he views as an older brother. In Legendary Defender, Keith was born on October 23rd to a Galra mother named Prolia and an unnamed human father on Earth. Keith originally piloted the Red Lion, which forms the right arm of Voltron, and then piloted the Black Lion, which forms the body of Voltron, before joining the Blade of Mamora, a rebel Galra organization which fights alongside the Voltron Paladins. Following his reunion with his mother, Keith matured considerably over his two years in warped space. Having finally discovered the reason why his mother left him was for his protection, Keith finally made peace with his past on Earth. Keith was known to have been close with his father, and now, having known his mother, he is far more at ease with his heritage, feeling at peace at last. Keith's latent leadership abilities came to service along his journey. Though he is less decisive and more aggressive as a leader than Shiro, he is quickly calming down into a leader of great skill as noted by the Black Lion, who only allows born leaders to partner with it. Keith's leadership style embodies the more aggressive traits of the Black Lion. In Beast King Go Lion, Akira Kogane is a Japanese human and wears a red uniform while having piloted Green Lion, Blue Lion, and eventually Black Lion. He was voiced by Kazuhiko Anao. In Voltron Defender of the Universe, Keith is human and wears a red uniform while piloting first Green Lion and then taking his place as the pilot of the Black Lion. He is voiced by Neil Ross. In Voltron The Third Dimension, which is widely considered the true sequel to the original series, Keith is once again voiced by Neil Ross and wears a black uniform with a black lion helmet while piloting Black Lion. In Voltron Force, Keith is voiced by Giles Panton. In this series, he is part human and part Altaian, wearing a black uniform while piloting Black Lion and eventually becomes King of Eris as Allura's husband. 
In Voltron Legendary Defender, Keith is part human, part Galra, and wears a red uniform while piloting both Red Lion and Black Lion. He is voiced by Steve Yin. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Voltron History, and Season 2 as a whole. In Season 1, we dove into the origins and history of the different Voltron series. In Season 2, we took a look at the histories of Pidge, Hunk, Lance, Sven, Shiro, Allura, and Keith. In 2019, Season 3 will dive into the history of the villains such as Zarkon, Lotor, Yurak, Cossack, and Hagar. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all our videos. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. And also go ahead and check out one of these two playlists here that goes along with the video you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.